I told you long ago on the road, I got what they waiting for. for that small burst of energy however I have not had a whiteout game day in two freaking years it is currently 9 58 a.m. and I have had what might be my worst week of college ever but I don't freaking care as long as Penn State wins like I genuinely believe that my computer croaked and just black screened and doesn't work anymore because Penn State football is going to win today did I potentially lose 600 gigabytes of photos and irreplaceable videos yes did I have to use my sister's laptop that has a tech deck sticker on it for this entire week and probably for the near future yes did I literally have to carry the weight of three separate group projects on my back? Yes. But you know what? All of those things happened for a reason. And that reason is Penn State football is going to win. And if they don't, then I just had a really shitty week for absolutely no reason. So I might throw up thinking about that. Now I have to do something about my outfit. Besides me looking very ugly, there's actually something wrong with it. Do, 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 do. I got copyrighted the last time I used this dude. It's not white. We're playing Auburn and it's like a big SEC versus Big Ten clash of the freaking Titans, you know? But the issue is, it's gonna be like 80 degrees outside. And I actually tried to be prepared two years ago for the whiteout and I literally bought a puffer for the next whiteout and it's gonna be 80 freaking degrees. So I wanted to wear sweatshorts because I feel like that would be a cute vibe and then just like a crop tee, you know? No. They came and they were so unbelievably fugly. It's not the vibe. So I literally scoured the earth and by that I mean like the three stores we have downtown and I couldn't find any more sweatshorts, but I did find these. Ugh. And then we have this white skirt, but it's not really the same shade of white. And second of all, I'm going to be like losing my mind. So a skirt, like, probably not a good call. I don't know. I don't know. Crisis averted. I'm gonna wear this. I think it's fine. I've never worn this shirt, so we're clear on this. These I've worn once, and we won by a lot, so that's good. Please let us win. Shut up, bitch! Chrissy, where are we going? Game day! <laughs> She's like, I don't know. We've seen a lot of Auburn fans, not a good sign, and they're all in polos. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> they should take notes. This is what a game day fit should look like. Not a freaking polo. Like, what, are we going to a career fair? Are we going golfing? <laughs> I'm so lost. To be honest, we're all just sweating. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> we're so sweaty. They're finally picking our game. <laughs> Not the big. Penn State! Why? It's the fact that it's not just the 40 year old middle aged white men for me, it's all of them. They're all wearing polos! What the hell? They are full on business professional with ties. That orange jacket is nasty. It's hot as hell. Just got back from game day and they all picked Penn State, which is good, but also scary. All of the confidence I was exuding earlier, I'm freaking scared, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. They had Saquon come, which was like kinda cool, you know. I wish you were still playing here because we could use a little help. But my celebrity guest picker is... 
What's your analysis of the game? I think Penn State's going to win. How and why? Um, because our defense is, like, good, and Bo Nix throws picks. My mom and Sam are here. They're going to be, like, tailgating and whatever. Uh, is that excitement or no? I'm very excited, but I'm also really nervous, but I'm mostly excited. Before we go to the game, we have a very important announcement. Because at the last game, we are all seniors, and we are all very disappointed in y'all freshmen and sophomores. I was sitting there, I finally got a pretzel, and this girl in front of me was whipping her pom-pom back in my pretzel unacceptable behavior. When you do the pom-pom, it does not go out into the people in front of you, nor does it go back to the people behind you. Chrissy, please demonstrate the proper way to use the pom-pom. Listen, ready? You go straight up! And then when the people in front of you keep sticking their butts out... Oh my god. <laughs> Emily's boyfriend decided... I don't claim to... Oh, I'm really hot. And Emily's like, well, maybe we can cut it into a t-shirt. Rips it himself. It just looks like a wrinkle. <laughs> Hi! What do you think is going to happen in the game today? We are going to be big winners. We're bringing home a W. Absolutely. Um. <laughs> um. How you feeling? Stressed. Um, um, <laughs> so Let's go! I'm currently about to sneak some people into the student section. Didn't suspect a thing. so hard about it. They just did like 10 straight plays to the kid. And now it's 10 to 7 Auburn. I'm sorry, what? No, it's not fourth down. Yes. No, but I'm mad. Dude, it wasn't fourth down. Nonetheless, Auburn, after that touchdown drive, they make some adjustments and, and get Clifford in Penn State's offense off the field. So you see Auburn's offense have an answer. Is it about the down? I, I, I don't the initial signal was fourth down. Now the yard marker says third it's right down. down. It's fourth down. It goes one, two, three. Please do something good. 
that was just average. When I said run it, I meant in the end zone, not for no yards. It's halftime. We are up 14 to 10. Thoughts? Um, I'm overwhelmed. I honestly, look, I love the state, but I'm not sure how we are winning right now. That's big time. Oh my god! We are great! Have a new one now. <laughs> we are in state, folks. Woo! 